I'm Steve with Raybuck Auto Body Parts, as well as with our brother company, Henry's Automotive Warehouse. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the different types of electrical connectors that we carry, just so you have an understanding of the differences between them and why one might be a little bit better than the other. Uh, so the four different ones that I have here, I'll try to get a close-up so you can see what they look like. Uh, the first one is your standard, and these are all types of butt connectors. Um, you can get rings and hooks and all kinds of other ones. We're going to focus just on the, on the butt connectors today. But again, you'll see the different, uh, the different materials they're made out of. Uh, the first one that we have here, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with it. This is uh, the most common. Uh, this is our uh, vinyl connector. It's very stiff. I can't squeeze it. Uh, and then you just crimp it together and uh, it forms a pretty nice crimp. But again, it's, it's uh, uh, kind of on the lower end of the scale. The second one that we have is our nylon connector. As you can see, it's similar to the, uh, to the uh, one that I just showed you, but it's uh, semi-transparent. Again, fairly stiff. I can't really squeeze it. The third one that we have is the uh, heat shrink connector. So this is a crimp. So you crimp in the middle just like you would with either of the other two, and then it's got uh, heat shrink built into it. So what a lot of people do, uh, or at least what I've seen done in the past, is they might get one of these other basic butt connectors, slide a piece of heat shrink tubing over top of the wire before uh, they, they make the connection, they crimp this down, and then they'll slide the heat shrink tube over top of the connector and over both parts of the wire, and then heat shrink the whole thing to, to seal it up and and uh, make it look a little bit nicer. With these other connectors, you have that built right in. So you crimp the connector, apply your heat, uh, usually with like a heat gun, um, or you could use a hair dryer, I guess, um, and it just makes that, uh, that nice connection on both sides. And I'll show you how that works. And then the last one that we have is similar, but it's a solder connection. So you, uh, you would solder, you put your wires on either side, apply your heat source, primarily to the center portion of this, and, uh, and then the solder tube that's built in, you can see in there, will melt and it will solder the two wires together. And then on top of that, both sides of the connector will shrink to form a nice connection around your wire. And I'll show you what uh, it looks like after it's connected or after it's heated. So here they are side by side. I did a sample one. Um, I just did a portion of it. I didn't do this side. So you can see the center of it, the solder, melted and then the side of it uh, shrunk. And then on the inside, where we have this one up here, the original one that has the, uh, the hollow tube, the solder tube in it. And then this one, you can't see through it obviously because the solder melted uh, and formed that connection. So I'll show you real quickly how that works. Again, with these first two connectors, you're just gonna stick a wire on either side and you're gonna crimp down in the center of it. Um, what's nice about the vinyl connector, you can see exactly how the wire is going to seat into it. So you can see that the wire is going in and you can see that the wire is seated all the way into the metal crimp part of the connector. That's one of the issues that a lot of people have when they use this style connector because obviously you can't see into it. You slide the wire in, you get a feel for it, but a lot of times you make that crimp, you give a tug on the wire and then the wire pops out and the connector is useless, you have to cut it off and then start over again. So what I did here was, I put two pieces of wire into, uh, into the crimp and heat shrink connector. So you can see I have my two crimps where the wires are, so it's tight. And I'm gonna just apply a little bit of heat to it and you can see how, um, you'll see how this shrinks down. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Now you can see the camera focuses. Again, I could have spent a little bit more time shrinking the ends down to get a little bit tighter, but uh, 
it shrunk on both sides and now you have a nice tight seal. And lastly, we have the solder and heat shrink. So what I did first was I put my two wires into the center and gave it a little crimp and then I'm going to apply some heat to it. And what you'll see is that the center, the solder in the center is going to melt and then each side Okay, so what I have here is the solder started to melt on the center section of this. Again, this isn't the, uh, the best, uh, best shot of it, but it formed a nice tight connection. Soldered the two wires together. Either side shrunk, the, tube, or the uh, connector shrunk to fit the wire, and you have a perfect connection. That's never gonna come apart. And those are the different types of connectors that we have. Uh, again, there's a bunch of different styles of connectors, but those are the four uh, primary uh, materials that the connectors are made of and how they're used. Thanks for watching.